Good morning and welcome to Utopia Farms, where we're praying that one day we will get nice spring weather instead of windstorms, snowstorms, rainstorms. We have a solar system at the back and we haven't made any money on it all year. <laughs> anyway, that's this is supposed to be a rain gauge. There we go. So, we're going to go in the barn and see what today is going to have in store for us. And here we go, off to work. Terrible wind again, but no snow, yay! I wanted you guys to see this, guy, this ram, he's a triplet ram. And uh, I haven't fed him for about three days now. He's just a top up. He comes up when he uh, he's hungry because he's still nursing off his mom. But uh, I've shown him before. He is he is ginormous. Like he is so big. And then you'll get the comments like, "Why would you give a lamb that's that big a bottle?" It's not about size. It's about age. So if you had a big human baby, you wouldn't cut it off its baby food early because he was a big baby. You'd uh, take it off its bottle when he was uh, old enough to be weaned. So that's the theory with this guy too. But he, uh, I swear he also just gets the comfort from it. Like this ram is the friendliest ram and he's so pretty but right now he's just playing with the bottle so I'm gonna take it off him. Hey buddy, I know you like it. I know you like it but more than anything I think you just like the extra attention. Don't you? Yeah you do. This guy will hug anyone that comes to the farm. But he is, uh, he's bigger than all our singles in this pen. He's, uh, he's just a me <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Uh, the, what happened? That raven just came in a crow's nest. Yeah. A turkey buzzard just flew over the coverall. Yeah. And he comes right in and took right after him. Well, because, yeah, he's got his babies in there probably. Some days, I don't know what, what the difference is, but some days are days where every lamb wants to come up to you and be pet. Um, usually at chore time, they're more interested in food than anything else, but today it's a mobbing day. And this is my little cute little triplet guy. Oh, your, your baby. Can we show you on the picture? Look at the camera, please. There you go. Look at the camera. You're so pretty. So now Katie's having the same problem I have. She's being swarmed by rams, wanting attention. Oh, she couldn't get by that guy. So I've climbed into the other pen, and my crew is all at the gate that I was just with making you feel terribly guilty that you've left them. And now I've got a new gathering over here. Buddies, what's with you today? Something is in the air today because uh, they're wanting a lot of love in here. Don't push at me, buddy. I don't like that. wonder if this, is, this ram's pushing at me. I'm wondering, there was another ram in the, pa in the past that was doing that. I don't like that pushy behavior from a ram. I, I don't mind friendly behavior, but not pushy. This guy, I'm, I haven't noticed him before. He must be a grade, but uh, this is, he's turning out to be quite the nice ram here. Who are you, buddy? We didn't notice you before. When they, when they these guys go over to the gate, these are these guys are, are uh, like 
a month older than the guys in the other on the other side. And you can see the size difference a month a month makes. But even when they get big like this, they still like to lay down with their moms until someone comes and walks over them. Snuggle time. Oh, now, now it's uh, snack time. So the lambs in this pen would be about two months old. These are the February lambs. Hi, you're a very pretty mom. Yes, you're very, very pretty. Yeah, you are. You're really nice. Hi, how you doing? Heather? Heather, is it you? I think so. I thought I recognized you. How's your lammies doing? Heather's a first time mom. She was one that I was going to show if uh, COVID wasn't around. She had triplets as a first timer. Um, but we took one off her. Hi, sweetheart. Are you coming back? Come here. Hi. Hi. How's motherhood? Is it a tough job? Hey? Good girl. There. There. Again, it's kind of hard to see her because we're they come in so close to you. But she's just a beautiful, like, she's uh, definitely a show sheep style uh, sheep. She's uh, bigger. Uh, that's why we would have brought her to the show. But uh, still, she's an extremely wide, um, wide you. And yeah, triplets. We wouldn't have expected that from her, so was a surprise. Now it's pouring rain. And probably this afternoon it'll be sunny. Like uh, the weather is just... We've never seen a spring like this doesn't know what it wants to do but I know what the lambs want to do they want to have fun And the black one in there is not an escapee. It's uh, the one that was adopted by the Dorset. The elder lambs on this side realize that it's all about food. The 
they got these guys on this side. It's still about having fun. They know that they got a creep area that they can go to at any time for food. Whereas this side, the lambs are being fed on a schedule. So when it's food time, they're all gonna come up. The lambs have creep in their pen 24 seven. So it's not uh, Come on. Such a priority. Yeah. So the thing about fluffing hay up that I tell you about, so that they'll eat it more. The only problem with it is, is uh, if we find a molding moldy spot, we'll toss it out, just so that they can use it as bedding. But inevitably, they'll all go try eat it, because it's something new. Yeah. Buddy. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why number two is not friendly. All the others are friendly. You're not putting them in again, again, are you? Why? You think he likes that, Arnie? Well, now it says he's even hot, heavier. Now it says 150. You might want to shake it a bit. Okay, so that's number two. He's 145 pounds. No, that's 150, isn't it? It's a, it's 150 pounds for number two, and he's I think he's about a hundred and twenty days. I'd have to double check. 115 days. Hi, sweetheart. Shall we weigh you? You're a little more friendly. Thought number three. Don't hurt those front legs because he's got good front legs. He's not going to... He can't lift his leg up, Arnie, if you're holding his back legs up. So number three, we had at 120 pounds. This is 79. He's just turned 100 days. I think he's 103 days. And he's 130 pounds. 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> this is that here? No, this is handsome actually. And here's our number nine Dorset that we were keeping for the shows. And he's 120 pounds. Hey, Matt, don't do that, please. But you can feel when you grab that chest, he's just. One more of the gladiators, 125 pounds. This is the guy that I saw the other day that was pretty. Hey. Remember Arnie was talking about making a new gate for that back pen that went across on an angle instead of having a bend in it? Well, here's the new gate. I figured most people don't have a gate like that in their own garden. Yeah, I know I don't. <laughs> hey, you know, a little handle here for Lynn. You don't have to reach so high. That's right, because Lynn's short. And look at this. Where's the handle? I can't see it here. Hang on. Okay, there it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and even a fancy little hook at the top. This look, is extremely fancy. It reminds me of the Playboy Bunny. <laughs> well, what? Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go there we are not so he made the gate pretty fancy and uh, yeah he shouldn't have said uh, fancier than the gates we have in the garden because now I've got I've got gonna put them to work to making my garden stuff fancier well, I figure most people would love a gate like that in the gardens or back of the house yeah so would I I mean it's really not that fancy but these actually turned out quite nice I was gonna make them smaller but I think it looks a little better than the yeah one. no I think it's good and we're having our barn tour on Saturday, so it's only a few days away. So uh, he wanted to get these done for the barn tour, so it all looks nice and fancy here. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, leave it on. So Lynn, Lynn says there's no money in farming, which I would debate about that. But you got to admit, 
It's fun. That's not farming. That's welding and artwork. It's fun. Uh, that's it's fun. fun. Every day totally. You walk, every day you walk past this, puts you in a good mood. It looks nice. It's just, it's not a it's not a gate that's tied up with bell twine that you have to untie it. And every morning the sheep are over top of it and breaking the leg. ventured out into the other paddock. They're kind of having a mad half hour out there. Number three from Gladiator. He hasn't left the chair where there's some hay on it. Kevin! Kevin! Oh, he's gonna go out to pasture. So, some of them have discovered the little snow that's left. Others are checking out equipment. Others have this little hump at the front of the field. Others are brave mountain climbers. Look at how high they are up there. It reminds them, it reminds them of their native country, Scotland. <laughs> we got to get them a bunch of kelps. That's right, honey. What do you guys think about being out here? Tramping the whole yard up. Look at them. Guess they look much nicer when they're outside.
What do you guys think? Pretty exciting? After watching all those guys running around in the sunshine and playing, you forget that actually uh, that was taken yesterday evening. Right now, it's supper time here and the rain has just stopped. It was a miserable day all day today, but uh, I thought the rams playing in the sunshine would uh, kind of brighten the day. And I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.